Nemesis features some fantastically fun action set pieces, including an amusement park slide gunfight and a multiple level ceiling fall. This basically involves one character shooting his way through the floor of an apartment building, creating multiple holes for him to fall on down through. Over and over again, he journeys each floor on his way to the bottom. It's kind of like Game of Death or The Raid in reverse. That's a pretty inventive way of escape if you ask me. There are non-stop gunfights, stunts, and explosions, all featuring real gun blasts and squibs like the good old days. They don't do low budget like this anymore, that's for sure. This wasn't director Albert Pune's first foray into cyborg action thrillers. That would be the Jean-Claude Van Damme-fronted vehicle Cyborg in 1989. Nemesis was well-reviewed at the time, especially for a film that was basically direct-to-video. Most of Pune's catalog, in fact, was made for the direct-to-video market. He had an undeniably unique style and was often accused of being a bad filmmaker by the masses. But through the waves of naysayers, he would find an audience to truly appreciate his own brand of low-budget sci-fi. French star Olivier Gruner was pitched as being the next direct-to-video Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold had many clones at the time. He basically fit that particular bill rather well. Nemesis would go on to produce several DTV sequels of lesser quality, most of them directed by Pune himself. As a Terminator meets Cyborg ripoff, Nemesis works well. It's crazy to think of Pune ripping off his own movie, but the idea of a Pune cinematic universe is very much up the director's alley. He's like his collaborator, Charles Band, in that way. If that particular universe were ever to happen, we could call it the PCU. Not to be confused with the 90s college comedy starring Jeremy Piven, David Spade, and John Happy Favreau, of course.